All right, guys, there's no better lesson than real world experiences. So here we go. Check this out. Here's our 2000 Mercury Cougar, right? Car's got a misfire. Now the thing is, you're wondering, dang it, man. I don't want to have to go and spend money on, you know, the, either the coil pack or ignition wires and spark plugs. I don't want to spend the money on it. I need to know definitely what's going on with this. How do we know it's not the coil? Well then, I want you to grab your Ortel. Oh yeah, that's right, you can't grab your power probe yet. Um, yeah. I mean, not the power probe, the current probe. You can't grab it yet, but don't worry, we'll get to that. Let's go in here and verify our complaint. Let's go over here. It's raining out here. Let's start the vehicle up. Let's go out here. You hear it, guys? See the misfire? Got that? There you go. Now you can see it better. So now, we need to check out, check this out. We're using our current probe and the Autel L539B, we're gonna check out not only is the coil bad or good, but the driver coming from the computer, all in one shot. Yeah, buddy. All right, let's shut this off and we'll be right back. All right, guys, here's our current probe, our ES, ES16695. Do not get this yet. The thing is $116. I saw some for like 20 bucks and all. And, I'm, and just because, because, because you guys are cool, <laughs> I'm gonna go buy me one and check it out to see if it compares to this before you spend a hundred or something dollars on this. All right, and you know, of course, what we have here, the Ortel AL539B. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> All right, the first thing we do on this Cougar, now, now this is on this Cougar, your vehicle might, might be different, but one way, we'll get to those other tests in a while. Now, what we're gonna do, when the coil, when the, when the uh, computer sends a signal to the coil, it ramps up voltage. It's gonna look like a mountain. It's gonna go, it's gonna go. Ramp it up and then shut it down, right? Keep on doing it. Ramp it up, shut it down. If there's a problem in there, we won't get that ramp or we'll get a bad signal in there. So what we're gonna do is tie into the system. Now over here, you see this plug going to the coil. Four wires. Notice the difference of the one right here. This is the main power wire. And this is three wires going to uh, each each wire is covering two cylinders But what you're gonna be looking for is the one that's different from all the rest this one right here So what we're gonna do take our current probe we Got the two connectors here put one on the positive One on the negative just like that Doesn't matter how you set this one up You can cut it up to 20 amps all the way up to the AC voltage or you can cut it down to DC voltage It's not gonna matter with this one, but don't worry don't worry about that because I'm going to show you, try to get another one for you. All right, let's cut our meter on. And some of you guys know I just got this back. So I still got the plat the covering on it. I didn't even take off yet. <laughs> All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to go down to the multimeter feature of it. Hit OK. And over here, you can leave it on auto, but I want you to scroll down. That one means volts DC, and this one's volt AC. Scroll down to the AC. Connect that, let's set that up right there. Now see, this is another thing, what I like about um, this machine, the screen. Because no matter how I set it, I can see it. That white background is great. Oh, we're gonna make sure our wire don't touch anything. Hey, we we'll short this out and be buying another one. <laughs> All right, now check this, guy. Check this out, guys. A lot of them, them guys out there, the wannabes, the wannabe that have the AL4, that have the 539B, that has spent all that money, the $5,000, $10 machine, $10,000 machine, what they got to do, check this out, they got to go get additional part for the van. I have to get an additional part that's going to cost me $400 to $800 on top of my Vantage if I want to do what I'm about to do right now with the wires. Yeah, check that out. All right, so what we're going to do, As a matter of fact, let's go over here. Make sure that thing don't drop, man. That's gonna upset me. Let's start it up. Alright, my 
not sure what probe you're using. There's our misfire. Let's uh open this wiring harness up a little bit. Take the covering back. All right. Let's get this wire separated. And we're gonna hook up. First we're gonna zero the meter out. We're gonna hook it up. See the little arrow up there? We're gonna, that arrow's gonna be on the wiring harness going away from the coil. So we just wanna hook up that one just like that. Let's go up here and see what our oil tail is reading. Bam! Look at that! It's actually let <coughs> it is actually doing six cylinders all at once. It's the ramp, you see the current ramp go up and then shut down, uh, it shut it down. A lot of you haters out there are probably saying, well, how do we know that's showing six cylinders and the other ones are not two? Okay, I'm gonna answer that. <laughs> Let's take our current probe, take it off, zero that again. This time, we're gonna grab on one of the wires that's going to two cylinders. Now this time, the arrow, it's going to be going to the coil. Let's see if we can get one in there. Look at that. You see the spacing now? Two cylinders. It's showing me two cylinders. That's it. And if I go to the other ones, it's going to show me two cylinders as well. Now, I got a misfire. So what this is telling me is that I know now for 100% fact, my computer and the driver's going to the coil, and the coil is okay. Yeah, boy. I just saved me a bunch of money on, on guessing on some parts. So, what I gotta do now? Now I can shut this off. Matter of fact, you guys, let me, let me, let's do that one more time. For the haters out there, let's do that one more time. Let's hook it up back to the six. <laughs> Zero it out. doing this with one hand anyway. Dang, I'm, I'm too used to this. Back up there, look at that guys. Look at that pattern. Showing me all six cylinders. Now, if I had a driver bad or the coil was bad, I'd be missing one of them points right now. And, okay, I'm saying I'm missing one of the points. I can go to the separate wires right now and find out which part of the coil is, is no good. Not that it matters because the whole coil is got all of them at once, no, that really don't matter. You guys be doing that, just, I be doing that just to show off. <laughs> so, let's cut this off. And we'll be right back. All right guys, we're here now. We already verified that our computer's good. Well, the driver in the computers is good. The wiring going up to the coil, and the coil is good. Also, check this out. Did you know, by that pattern that we got, we know, as a matter of fact, guys, there is a there is another test on this that um uh, we did one of our one of our videos that we checked secondary ignition. This was primary that we just checked. But what I need to do, I still need to find out with this misfire coming on. Now, man, those plugs right there is hard to get to. Let's see if we can get to these over here. Take this cover off. And this side is easy to get to. I'm very going like that to the back. All right, let's take this cover off, and then we're gonna start it up, and we'll be right back. All right, guys, got my cover off here. Got my little modules off to the side. Now let's start this up. I'll show you another thing what we're gonna do, guys. We're gonna go this a little further. Okay. Now, you wanna make sure you get your pair of pliers like this. That's for ignition wires. And what we're gonna do is take off one at a time, and the one that's bad, this engine is not going to have the misfire. For instance, let's take this one. Watch the engine. That. Dang it. Now it's caught up here. Dang it. Let's put that back down. Let's go our next one. Look at that. Look at the next one. Look at that, guys. See the misfire? Take it off. 
No change whatsoever. And I hear a squawk down in there. Matter of fact, if you look down there and see that squawk going on to the side. All right, let's shut this car off. So you know what, guys? Check this out. If our wire, if our spark plug wire is good, that means the Autel AL539B not only let us know whether the computer drivers are good, but the ignition coil, the wiring, and the ignition wires. It let us know all that. But you know what? Let's find out for sure. Let's go in here and pull this spark plug out of here. Be right back. All right, guys, let's get that spark plug out of here. Damn, I got the right size socket. What the heck is wrong with me? What am I doing with a 15 millimeter socket? Ah, be right back. All right, got a 16 millimeter socket. <laughs> Get us something to get that down there. Got my little trusted magnet. Bam, let's look at this together. Ow, ow, damn, it's hot. <laughs> look at a little burn on the side. Oh, look at the gap on that thing. Huh. I really want in there. You know what? Let's get us a new plug and see what it does. Be right back. It is hot. Oh, goodness. All right, guys. Got us a brand new NGK plug. Put this down. Let's see. We got. Huh. Look at the gap. On those two. Man. All right, guys. Just like I told you, even though NGK said because of the way they plus, the because of what their spark plugs are made out of, do not put no anti season in. That's bull. If that thing seizes up inside your head, is NGK gonna come out here and give you money to have that done? Nope. People can say anything they want. You can put that in writing that they're gonna cover any kind of damage. So what you're gonna do, take you some anti-seize, do the, do the 007. Put a little on a Q-tip. Put it around the threads. Yeah. All right, here we go. Set this down. And making sure you don't get none where the spark plug is. All right, that's good. Let's get this plug set in there. We'll be right back. All right, guys, we got our plug down there. It's time for us to check this out. Let's, let's put our wire back on. Now, this this will be cool, guys. This will be cool because this Autel just showed me something. What the heck? Get the heck, get on in. What the heck, man? Is thing on there? Yeah, it's on there. That, this, that means this thing would have showed me something else. That not only doing that test, it showed me whether my wires are good. Dang it, that would have been cool. Alright, let's start this up. Let's start it up. Oh, 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 man. Look at that, guys. Look at that. Look at that, guys. Let's verify this. Let's check this out now. Let's get our wire. Look at our pliers. Look at that. Saw that, guys? Dang it. Dang it. Where'd that go? Put it back. Put it back. Put it back. Guys, look at that. Check that out. That thing just saved. Oh, my goodness. Let me, let me shut this off. I mean, this thing just showed me something different. You know how much money, guys? Guys, if you would have took it to a shop, they would have said, yeah, you need a, you need this, you need spark plugs, wires. They would have hit you for probably an ignition coil and all that. And check that out. It came out to be a spark plug. One spark plug. Now, I got the whole set of spark plugs because I needed to do a spark plug. To, uh, spark plugs, that's what I did in a while. But check that out. If you want to bind and you need, you, ain't, you don't have the money to get all that, you would have just went to the store, got you one plug and got it done. All because of the A Autel AL539, yeah, buddy. <laughs> All right, that is sweet. 